Hello, this is Joe Samo from San Diego. Uh, give this one a shot by hitting the pause button. It's basically asking, is quantity A bigger than or smaller than or equal to quantity B, uh, or if the data is insufficient to give you the answer. Hit pause, and uh, if you want to do it on your own, then we'll do it together. Okay, I hope you tried it on your own. Now we're going to do it together. All right, as always, I like to draw these things out, uh, so we're going to draw it out real quick. All right, so here's our triangle. It's a little uh, deceptive because they give us, this angle is 90, I'm not drawn to scale, this angle is 45. By the way, if this angle is 90, then we know that that angle has to be 90. If this angle is 45, then we know that angle has to be 45 because the triangle has to be 180 degrees. There's 90 right there, and so 90 left, and then there's 45 there, so it gives us 45 left. So it's a 45, 45, 90 uh, triangle. Uh, they give us this angle as 20. Uh, the reason why I said it's a little deceptive, because that, if it was truly a 20 degree angle, then it would be closer to about, let's see, about there. All right, that is closer to a 20 degree angle. Uh, so, um, but again, it's not drawn to scale. Okay, so, so that angle is supposedly 20 degrees. And then uh, the only other thing they give us is that that side is two. So right off the bat, if they give us this as two, if this side is, if this angle is 45 and that angle is 45, therefore this side and this side have to be equal uh, because the opposing angles are equal. So we can call each of those sides x and x, and we know that x squared plus x squared must equal the hypotenuse squared because the Pythagorean theorem, and the, the hypotenuse is two, so two squared. So we get two x squared equals two squared, which is four. We divide each side by two, x squared equals two, x equals the square root of 2. So therefore, then, this side is the square root of 2, and then this side is the square root of 2. This angle is 20, and this angle is 90. Therefore, this angle here is 70. Um, same thing, 70 plus 20 is 90, plus 90 is 180. The next thing is that 70 degrees opposes a side that's square root of 2, so therefore, this 20 degrees has to oppose a side that's less than the square root of 2. So this side here, because 20 is obviously less than 70, so that angle opposes a smaller side. So from here to here is less than the square root of 2, and from here to here is square root of 2. So PR is square root of 2, which is this side here, plus something less than the square root of 2. All right, well, for now, we'll just call it square root of 2 plus square root of 2, but we know it's a little bit less than that. Uh, so that equals 2 times the square root of 2. So PR is a little bit less than 2 times the square root of 2. Uh, and then it's asking us to compare PR to square root of 8. Uh, if we simplify square root of 8, we get 2 times 4, okay? Uh, and then the 2, there's a 2 there, and those 2 matches up. So square root of 8 is like 2 times the square root of 2, all right? Which is just like this, all right? So here we go. So square root of 8 is 2 times the square root of 2, and we know that PR is something a little, like we said here, because this is less than that. Um, so we know PR is something less than 2 times the square root of 2, and they're asking us what's bigger, PR, which is less than square root, sorry, which is less than 2 times the square root of 2, uh, compared to square root of 8, which is 2 times the square root of 2. Uh, because that's less than, then we know that square root of 8 is bigger than PR. All right, keep up the great work. Uh, if you want to get better at math, you got to hit this uh, one right here and give this, uh, this other geometry one a try, and then you'll keep on getting better with practice. All right, keep up the great work.